The commonest sexually transmitted uh, infection in Australia is chlamydia. Hi, I'm Dr. Joe. On the plus side, chlamydia is also the easiest of the uh, sexually transmitted infections to treat. But the minor side is that often people don't know that they have it. Alrighty, so what are the symptoms of chlamydia? First and foremost, there may be none. And this is for both men and women. You may be carrying it but don't know about it. And this is one of the reasons why uh, screening type tests are uh, recommended for, uh, for chlamydia. Now, if you do have symptoms, they're likely to be stinging or burning with passing urine. Um, at its worst, it, uh, it's described as passing razor blades, and that doesn't really sound terribly pleasant at all. Um, some people may have a discharge uh, from, the, from the genitals. In women, they, you may get some sort of aching around the, uh, the pelvis. But as I said at the top, it may be fairly mild or, or not at all. Often the way people suspect that they've got chlamydia is somebody's rung them up or contacted them and said, look, I've been to the doctor and I've been diagnosed and I've been advised to, to tell you. It's not a call that people probably like to get, of course, but it's better to get it than to not get it. This chlamydia is very easily treated with antibiotic. Success rates in cure, you know, nudge on to 100%. It's very fixable. If it isn't fixed though, there are problems, and especially for women, it can, if left untreated over an extended period of time, lead to infertility because you can get scarring on the tubes. It's less likely to lead to long-term problems in males, and part of the reason for that is that men are more likely to have symptoms than women, but it can also lead to scarring in the urethra for men. So, the process would be, if there's any suspicions or even if you just feel you should be checked for sexually transmitted infections, and it's a very common thing to do and it's not a big deal. Uh, if people are sort of a bit nervous or embarrassed about it, go along and see your doctor. They've seen it all before, believe me. Um, so you can go along and have a test done. A urine test will be done for men and a urine test and possibly a what's called self-administered swab uh, for women. Uh, following on from that, there are a couple of different antibiotics that can be used. Um, in instances where chlamydia is shown to be positive, and I should point out that sometimes there's suspicions that it's there, but it doesn't always grow in the lab, but it's important to treat it just on spec and on the assumption that it might be there. But if it's shown up positive, then you'll be asked to do a follow-up test, usually after three weeks, and that's to make sure that it has cleared up. And the other thing is if you have been found to have chlamydia, you will be advised to notify any partners or contacts that you've been with because, hey, guess what? Uh, you know, you may have passed it on. Indeed, you may have caught it from somebody who doesn't even know they have it. So, you know, you'll be doing yourself and them a favour. So I think where we are these days compared to, you know, 20, 30 years ago is sexually transmitted infections are not such a big deal. I don't think anybody would like to get them. Most people don't like to get any sort of infection. But it's not a big deal. You're not alone. Um, it's very common and out there. Um, screening is done on a, on a regular basis and, you know, every day in, in this country somebody will be treated for, for chlamydia. So you won't, it won't be just you, which is a fear that people have. It's not a stigma it's just an infection in a different part of the body. So get on top of it. Any concerns or queries, go along and see your GP. Treatment is simple, testing is simple, um, and it's much better than finding out you know, a long time later on that you should have done something.